Derecho. 2012. On the evening of Friday, June 29th, a violent windstorm sprouted in the plains of Illinois and eventually transformed itself into a full-fledged derecho. The storm swept across the Midwest to the East Coast, leaving a path of devastation hundreds of miles long. Millions were left without electricity during a record-setting heat wave. This is one man's real-life journey through the storm's aftermath. So it's uh, day one of uh, host uh, derecho. Uh, I'm using my trusted BlackBerry. That's that's what the storm was called. It was quite the uh, wind event. Um, I think they said uh, winds were blowing in excess of 80 miles per hour. So we definitely felt it. It, it was it was a scary event for sure. Um, but uh, we woke up this morning. Uh, house was relatively cool. Um, okay, no complaints there. Uh, thank God for our basement. Um, we got a little bit of food. We definitely have running water. Um, but we're hungry, so uh, we're going to have to find some more food. Don't know if uh, we're going to have to go hunt or uh, go to McDonald's. Hunt or McDonald's. Uh, we'll do one of those for sure. One of the two. Because um, uh, you need food to survive. Um, then, uh, you know, well, hopefully the power will come back on. And uh, we'll be able to get back to life as normal. Um, electricity and, and, and cool temperatures in the house and, uh, and the like. Anyway, uh, post derecho, uh, again, we're in good spirits, confident that uh, things will get better, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you soon, and uh, over and out. Have a good day. So it's uh, night number two, post derecho, and uh, no electricity. As you can see, uh, you, you don't have much of a choice when you're going to bed can't uh, watch TV so you wear headlamps like you're uh, a coal miner or something just so you can read a book and maybe uh, put all your worries behind you and catch a little shut-eye if you will um, today it was okay I won't say it was great I won't say it was bad kind of in between our house stayed relatively cool, um, but there was a lot of time, just a lot of time to, to be by yourself and think, and think your thoughts. I thought about a lot of things, most of uh, which I don't really want to share. Um, I'm still pretty confident that uh, we're going to make it out of this storm. Um, Biggest downer today, I would say, is um, we walked outside and almost all of our neighbors have power. Literally a hundred yards away from us, there's power. And then on the other side, 50 yards away from us, they have power. I think we might be uh, forgotten by AP. There's about a 150 of us uh, survivors left in our neighborhood uh, without power who are kind of wondering why we, we don't have power. It might have been not paying our bills on time. It might have been, um, I, I don't know. I mean, playing tricks on the power men when they try to read our meters probably hasn't helped at all with us getting power. And one could say the biggest trick is now being played on us. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to have power tonight. I'd love to wake up to having power. So with that said, I'm reading little Nora Roberts book here called Happily Ever After. I think it will uh, give me the inspiration, you know, to have the sweet dreams and uh, high hopes for tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to continue reading this, this great book of literature, and uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep and hope for the best for tomorrow. Hi. It's day number two. I just woke up. I'm not sure what time it is, but uh, it's 
state number two of the storm. Still no power. Still no electricity, of course. We're we're getting by the best we can. Got got no food left. Got water. We got water. We reported our our outages quite a few times to AEP, but no response. I'm afraid uh, we may have been forgotten. Neighbors all around us have power, and it's gonna be hot again today. Well, we're gonna make the best of it, and and hope and hope we we we, we can survive and stick in there. Um, just wanted to do a, a little video diary again, in case. Well, just in case. Uh, I'll check back in in a few hours. Over and out. Um, day three. Not as good spirits as we were. Took a shower. It's cold. Our uh, hot water heater obviously doesn't work. Things you don't think about when you have no electricity. Um, uh, but we suffered our uh, our first loss. Besides my car getting dead in, um, unfortunately, our milk has gone bad. Um, I don't know if it's from the derecho and us not having a refrigerator, or if it's because the milk was old. I, I don't know. One of the two, definitely. Um, I'm leaning towards the derecho, but uh, I can't be sure without a proper analysis. But uh, I just wanted to say goodbye to our friend the milk, and I uh, thought this might be a fitting way to uh, do it. So, uh, bye, my friend. You served us well while you were with us. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, milk. We'll have to find some more someday soon. A burnout post derecho. So it's night number three, and uh, we're gonna see if just by chance, if just maybe, if a miracle has happened, if we might actually have electricity inside our house. It's been over 48 hours since we first lost electricity during the big storm of the 2012 year. If any luck. We will have electricity. Could have, should have, would have. There's only one way to find out. And that is to go inside and see. So, I'm going to unlock the door. See what happens to be inside. What will we find out? I really suck at opening this door. Apparently. Open. Come on, door. That's the wrong key. Anticipation is growing. Did I unlock at that time? I did not. Come on, door. I cannot wait to see what is behind this door. Are you with me, everybody? It's dark. Oh my gosh! We have electricity! We have electricity! Woo! Real quick! Yeah, 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 yeah! Woo, 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 woo! We got electricity! Woo, woo, woo! We got electricity! Woo, woo, woo! We got electricity! Woo, 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 woo! Look at our refrigerator, it's cold inside. Look at our freezer, it's cold inside. Our hot water heater, it's warm inside. We got electricity! Over. And out.